Hello everyone. I am Ajit. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's learn about fractions, rational numbers, and their differences. So, what is a fraction basically? A fraction is a portion of a whole, or we can say that it is a set of equal pieces. What is the meaning of that? Here there is a pizza, and this pizza has been divided into eight equal parts. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the pizza has been divided into eight equal parts. So we say that each piece is a fraction. That means this is one by eight. So this portion is one by eight. So one by eight is a fraction. So there are eight equal pieces, and we say each piece is a fraction, and each piece is represented by one by eight. Then what is a rational number? A rational number is defined as the ratio of two integers p and q, and is in the form p by q, where q is not equal to zero. So we say that any number, if it is in the form p by q, where the p and q both should be integers here, very important. So, like for example, three by five. Here, p p is three and five is denominator, which is q. So p by q, any number which is in the form p by q, where p and q are integers, and q should not be equal to zero. So then we say that it is a rational number. Few more example we can give like three by minus five. Numerator is integer, denominator is integer, and the denominator is not equal to zero. We can say zero by five or zero by ten. So numerator is integer, denominator is integer. So these are some of the examples of rational numbers. Now, if you observe the difference between the fractions and rational numbers, it looks almost the same, but they are not same. If they are same, then we we will not need rational numbers. We can we can call rational numbers as fractions only. So let's see what is the difference between the fraction and the rational number. Fraction is defined as the ratio of the two whole numbers. This is very very important. In fraction, the numerator and denominator should be whole numbers, whereas in rational number, the numerator and denominator are integers. So this is the main difference between the fraction and rational numbers. For example, if you take in the fraction thirty-two by forty-five, here thirty-two and forty-five, they both are whole numbers. Here forty-four and eighty-nine, they both are whole numbers. But if you look at the examples of rational numbers, the first example eleven and seventeen both are whole numbers, of course. But in the second example, it's minus thirteen by nineteen. Minus thirteen is not a whole number. Minus thirteen is an integer. So here the main difference is both numerator and denominator in a fraction are whole numbers. But in rational numbers, both are integers. This is the first difference, and we can say that every fraction, whatever fraction you take, it's a rational number because integers will include whole numbers. So obviously, or any fraction you take, eleven by five, four by six, they are fractions and they are rational numbers also. But every rational number is not a fraction. Why? Minus two by three is a rational number, but it's not a fraction. So. This is one of the difference between the fraction and rational numbers. One more difference is that fraction is always a positive number because all numbers are positive. So eighty-eight by forty-nine is an example. But a rational numbers can be negative or positive both. It is neither. It can be negative also. For example, we discussed here minus thirteen by nineteen. So it can be negative and positive. So this is the main difference between. A fraction and rational numbers. So to conclude, fraction numbers are basically the numerator and denominator should be whole numbers, whereas in rational numbers, the numerator and denominator are integers. Fractions are always positive number, whereas rational numbers are positive and negative. It may be positive or it may be negative also. I hope you all have understood the the main difference between fractions and the rational numbers. If you have understood, then I request you to subscribe to my channel and share to the students who are in need of this. Thank you all.